Well, back on the Copley. Nice, quiet morning. I'm going to fish down there a little bit later in the rapids, but we're going to start here in and around these rocks. Do a bit of nymphing, see how we get on. Decided to venture out to the river Calder down near Copley, just outside Halifax. Fished um, a couple of the pools. This one I fished last week and caught a fish, and this week I caught a fish as well. Trying to do a bit Very of Euro nymphing. Nice. Long leader, about nine meters long. Uh, a couple of nymphs on the end, and uh, they all kept taking the top one, a bit like a hare's ear. Not exactly a master of it. I had to use an indicator in the rough water so I could see um, where the line was good effect got three grayling out roughly about an hour I spent on the water early this morning because as it gets to midday and with the Sun coming out all the locals do come down onto the shaled areas put the towels out start swimming in the water which is a little bit off-putting but it's their environment as well as ours here was a good little pool again just cast it up into that semi white water on the right and let it troll through in this case it's watching the indicator and when it went down I hooked into it I did try a number of times took the indicator off let the flies go through but I'm no expert on it I'm an actual amateur but I got three fish out so I was quite happy with it That this is the second one. Another one on top dropper. All grayling. Just on the top dropper. Nothing spectacular. Just small fish. Let's bring him in. This one. But I enjoyed it. There we go. There go. Back off he goes again. There's quite a few trees on. behind me, so I had to watch my cast because I did get hooked up once or twice. In the rough water. Because then you can see it drop. It's sort of about two or three foot from the bank. Didn't want to venture out any further because, as I said in the last one, mm -hmm. when this place gets flooded all manner of things come down this river and there are some sharp objects under the water and with it being a bit cloudy today I might not have seen them and the last thing I wanted was to get a piece of rusty old metal through my waders but apart from me though, I, was the yeah. only, I was the only person fishing this stretch oh, I'm in but the there's tree. me in the tree and out of the tree still got the flies But just letting it drop through the water. Self-explanatory. I know some people are absolute masters at this skill, of which I am not. But I give it a try. I won't be doing it again anytime soon. I've got a couple of other waters I'd like to go to. There's one just outside Sheffield, which is run by the Barnsley Trout Fishing group and Arnfield. I fancy going to Arnfield. I've not been there for a while. But this is a really nice little water and I have been part of it for a long time. So I'll leave a link Where in the description underneath to their website, their Facebook page. The flies that I used, where I got them from. And the nine foot French leader. I think it only cost me about five kid five quid from eBay. Uh. I haven't tried it before, thought I'd give it a go. Come here. This is my result. Won't be winning any competitions soon. But I loved it. Thanks very much for watching.